All right, you guys. I know, I know. I did an anti haul slash wish list slash. I wasn't going to buy this. I wasn't, I swear. But then I saw Jacqueline Hill's swatch video. I saw many others' videos. And I fell in love. I haven't even opened it yet. So, you guys, I'll link my anti haul down below so you can hear what I said. Also, I'm not wearing my wedding rings in my bedroom, but I'm not going to go get it. Um, I'm not a big fan of Morphe. Multiple reasons. One, I don't like how they use uh, people on social, how people lie, essentially, to get you to buy Morphe on social media. I just don't, I don't like that. Maybe that's not Morphe's fault, but it kind of is. So, anyways, so I don't typically buy for them. I also, when I, back in November, December, I was planning to maybe buy the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. I went through checkout and everything, and then when I went to checkout, shipping was ten dollars. Ten dollars from California to Washington. So I didn't buy it because it's like that's absolutely ridiculous. It was gonna cost me twenty-three dollars <coughs> to buy a fifteen dollar palette. And that's including that was either including or not including a discount code, I can't remember. Anyways, so I did not purchase that one because that one annoyed me too much. So when I went to go buy this palette, I was like, okay, this one's at least a full-size Morphe palette. I don't anything Morphe. This would be my probably my one and only purchase. Um, I just kind of figured, and if shipping's more than ten dollars, I ain't gonna do it. It was seven fifty. Really? Seven? Yeah, seven fifty. I think for shipping. I was like, huh? Seven fifty? Okay. Alright, so I purchased it. I had a, uh, the rest of my birthday money to spend it on. I also kind of was thinking this is kind of a make or break for Jaclyn Hill, I feel like. I feel like if this product absolutely failed or had this big, you know, controversy, she was just kind of going to die out because she's had so many issues recently. So I was kind of curious to see for myself. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like this is a big one for her. I feel like she's got a lot riding on the line with this one. So... I love her Becca face palette. I know a lot of people didn't, but I love that one. So let's pop into this bad boy. All right. So the outside of the box has no indication where this is from. And then as soon as you open it up, it looks like this. So you got at Morphe, all that good stuff. I feel kind of sick of buying this. I feel like I sold out. Okay. So has this card from Jacqueline. Oh, nice. You've got like a little mini version of the colors here. A lot of people weren't sure if you got it. I wonder if a lot of people just missed it. Because some people apparently got it, some people didn't. I feel like a lot of people must have just missed the card because it's just on the back here. So that's nice that they have that. I'm probably actually going to like glue this or tape this onto the palette or even write the names in. Okay. Can you see it? very pretty. Oh, I've got her on the back. I love her haircut there. That's a bubble wrap. That's nice. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize it. It's got JH all over it and the, oh, this is the back. So I didn't ever realize that before, but yeah, it says, it says JH all over the back and then Morphe X Jacqueline. Okay, sorry. I take a break. My little son woke up for a few minutes there and I wasn't sure if he was going to go back to sleep to take a little bit longer of a nap. So like maybe he's at least quite a down. I don't know. He probably isn't asleep. But anyways, I want to say this palette came to me in a week. I ordered it last Wednesday and it's here. No issues. No drama with it. So let's open up this beauty. I don't know. Okay. So I want to say, I know a lot of people were whining about the price and how much more expensive this is than a typical Morphe palette. And I don't know. Um, according to Jacqueline, it's a whole new formula. And I know there's some controversy on that. And then like the time and effort that went into it, to me, I'm like, it's still a good price point for the um, amount you get in here. Um, it's, you know, about a dollar per eyeshadow or so, a little bit more. So, I don't know. It does, the price didn't bother me. I can see why it'd be upsetting if you buy Morphe palettes regularly, but you got to expect somebody that big, she needs to get paid as well, so the price is going to up there. But I think if she had done this with any other company, it would have been 
even bigger and this is probably one of the like the lowest amounts she could ever go okay are you guys ready to open this up with me <gasps> okay Ooh, it's pretty it's silver on the inside okay a little bit messy already well little, little crumbles in there it's not what I want to see people okay well it looks beautiful <laughs> so I thought a fun way to kind of test out this palette for the first time would be to do a palette roulette or bingo or whatever. Um, I thought that would get me using different shades and all that stuff. I'd say my one thing about this palette, which is okay, is there's not like an all over setting lid shade, which is fine. You can use translucent powder, which I already have. My eyes are already primed with um, my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I put some concealer on it, and then set it with some powder. So, I'm going to go ahead and touch these. Oh, they feel very soft. Okay, Natasha Denona ones, which I do not expect them to be the same as Natasha Denona, but, yeah, those are extremely soft. Mm. They're definitely, they're almost like a different kind of soft. Pretty. I'm going to do, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do a dupe video for this palette because I feel like a lot of these shades you could get with like Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows or, um, yeah, just, I think if I'm out you could find these in other shades. So, I'm really curious to see, so I'm going to work on doing a dupe video for you guys to kind of dupe all of these, not necessarily with all Makeup Geek, it might be kind of random like palettes and stuff too, but let's hop into this let's do the palette I don't know if it's palette bingo or palette roulette I can't remember but basically I'm going to pick let's say I'm gonna do four shadows on random.org I think it's random.org yeah just one through 35 so number 28 eight is shade mocha it's dark brown right there Do you see it? Okay. All right. Shade six. Oh, so that should be shade creamsicle. No, just kidding. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so shade sissy. This really pretty pinky gold shade. And so seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So pukey, pukey, yeah. All right. So last shade I just drew is shade twenty-four, which is hustle. Really for this roulette bingo, whatever you want to call it, you just pick the amount of shades you want randomly drawn, and you can add in other shades, but you have to use one of those four shades that you drew. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do this for my first one is I wanted. I didn't want to just like, I feel like a lot of people are drawn to like the bold colors, you know, and it's like the bold colors are great, they're beautiful, and those are the ones to really see if they work, but at the same time, if those ones don't work, you're not going to wear those ones that often anyway, so what's it matter that much? So I wanted to just kind of do it random and see where we're at. So I'm excited for the color palette we have. Let me go ahead and swatch them. I'm going to go run and get my son because he's not going back to sleep and he's going to hang out next to me while I do my eyeshadow for today. Interesting the um, metallic shades remind me of Makeup Geek foil, but almost like stickier. Okay, okay, so those are the four shades we are using today. All right, let me go go get my son, and then let's get started already with this. Yes, just like everyone has complained, there is no mirror, and I don't like that you can't really bend the palette backwards. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. Okay. So let's just get started, shall we? I'm going to go in with the MFEO shade. Before I go a step further, I was living dangerously. I need to pattern under my eyes. I never 
never do my eyeshadow first. So I have a kind of look I want to do. <laughs> if you're a new mom, you understand why I just went, mm. I like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Um, like a little bit pointed blended brush. This does not have a name. It's from the Storybooks Cosmetic Wizard Wand Set. I'm going to go in with Pukey, which I find hilarious, and why not? Tell the truth. I know a lot of people are, like, disgusted by this name, but I think it's hilarious. So I'm just putting this in the crease, too. Alright you guys, I am back. So, this eye look is very subtle and I want to, it's Jaclyn Hill, so I really want to well, bam this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and try um, spraying my brush. So I'm dipping into Hustle. Spraying my brush. Very pretty shade. It reminds me of like Makeup Geeks. Was it Prom Night? Mac, uh, can't think of the Mac shade. And then I'm going to go into to see. Placement right on top. I think that's about as good as it's going to get for today. I feel like if I didn't have these all like mixed together, maybe these would be pop out, maybe pop more. Alright, so let's go in. I'm going to go ahead and kind of put everything on the bottom lash line as well. Go in with MFEO. Yuki. with the Makeup Geek brush, if I can find it. There it is. I'm going to go back in with Hustle. I wiped away my powder. I noticed hardly any fallout, if any.
spritzing it again. So for my brow bone highlight today, I'm going to go in with the first shade in light. Really pretty. It's not glittery at all. It's more just kind of sheen. fun look. Right, right. All right, and get some waterline action going on. I'm going to take the black and kind of just lightly line my eye with it. I don't feel like doing liner. I don't feel like doing wing liner because I don't really have time to, but I want something. Actually turned out really really pretty. I really like this combo. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara, and then I will zoom out and we'll finish up the face to kind of go with the. I'm gonna keep this kind of Jaclyn Hill themed. I'm going to go in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill collab. I'm gonna go in. I think I'll just go in with. What is it? Pamplemousse. Yeah, pamplemousse. I'm gonna go with pamplemousse. First, I'm going to go in with the yellow highlight in here, uh, Beam. It's really pretty. I'm going to go over top of that with Champagne Pop. Do it, do it, do it. Okay. Going to go in with my Buxom. Oh, not Bare Minerals. Buxom. Mm. Um, nude stick. I did have her two two of her uh, glosses with Gerard's Cosmetics, but I hated them, so I got rid of them. <laughs> I had Rose Hill and Buttercream. I liked the colors, but the formulas I did not like. Okay, so I'm gonna go over top of this with. I think I'm gonna go over top of it with uh, Dosey Doe from Makeup Geek. Okay, so there we go. I, so far, enjoy this palette. Is that really any surprise? Oh, another purpose. Okay, I really enjoy this palette so far. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Jacqueline's kind of, she's a strong personality, so you either like her or you don't. And I feel like she's gotten so much controversy lately that a lot of people are just leaning more towards don't. So, I don't know. I still like her. I think she's fun to watch. I maybe take what she says with a grain of salt. Um, with her recommendations and stuff, especially more for your recommendations. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're on the fence about this palette, I'd say go for it. I think it's really pretty. I really like the way it wears. Even if you're not a fan of Jaclyn Hill or Morphe, I think it's a beautiful palette. And I think a lot of people get a lot of use out of this. And I'm really excited. I'm debating about buying a second one for my kit. So when they come out with the next launch. But anyways, you guys, um, Keep a lookout for my dupes palette. I'm hoping, or my dupes video, I'm hoping to have that out by next week even. I just need to focus on that and with like the 4th of July and stuff, it might be a little difficult. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And let me know, oh, before I forget, let me know if you got this palette and what you think of it so far. If you don't like it, that's okay. You can tell me. I'll, I'm a big girl. I can handle disagreement sometimes. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.